Now, since we've got a little bit of flavor of TypeScript and we understand the advantages that it provides us, we can look at different kinds of types and start writing some code. But before we do that, it so turns out that we can use a better way to compile TypeScript using a bundler. We could have used Webpack, but since we want to keep things simple here and focus on TypeScript, I'm going to use Parcel. Later on during the course, I will also show you how you can work with TypeScript and Node and TypeScript with React as well. But for now, for a couple of next lessons, we are going to use Parcel as our bundler so that we can quickly bundle our TypeScript files and convert them to JavaScript files. This is so that I don't have to go to my terminal and keep running these commands again and again. So let's go ahead and configure Parcel in a step-by-step -step manner. Now, first of all, I'm going to delete all these files that we have here. We don't need them anymore. Once these files are out of the way, I'm going to open my terminal. And within my TypeScript project itself, I'm going to generate a new NPM project. To do that, I'm going to do npm init with a Y flag. Now this Y flag basically instantiates the npm project with all defaults added. Now the moment you run this, you're going to end up with a package.json file. Since this is a TypeScript course, I'm going to assume that you know what package.json is and how npm works. So we are going to manage all our dependencies here within the package.json file. Now the next thing I want to do is I want to install Parcel as a development dependency within this project so that we can use Parcel in order to bundle our TypeScript files. So let me quickly install Parcel. I'm going to install Parcel as a development dependency. I'll be back once this is done. Now Parcel is successfully installed within our project and we do see it as a development dependency within our package.json file as well. Now within our project folder, I'm going to quickly create an index.html file. Once I have created the index.html file, the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to create an SRC directory for storing all our TypeScript files and then I'm going to create one index.ts file as well. We have created the SRC directory. Now I'm going to create an index.ts file within this directory. So we have our index.ts within our SRC directory. Now, since we have all our files in place, next thing I'm going to do is include my index.ts file in my index.html file. Just adding some boilerplate code here. Once we have this, let's link our index.ts file to our HTML. Now the good thing about Parcel as a bundler is that it requires minimal setup. So it will automatically detect this index.ts file and replace it with index.javascript file and it will do the transpiling of TypeScript as well for us. The next thing that I'm going to do is that I'm going to generate a tsconfig.json file. So let's do that. Now passing this TSC in it, it generates this tsconfig file for us. Now within our tsconfig file, I'm again going to navigate to no emit on errors here and I'm going to uncomment this line because I don't want my JavaScript to be emitted just in case my TypeScript has got any errors. Now just to keep our TypeScript code clean and organized, we are going to use prettier as well. I'm sure that you're already aware what Prettier is and if you aren't, Prettier does what it says and it prettifies all your code 
without the use of any complex configuration files. Let's quickly go to Prettier Docs and look at the installation instructions. I'll navigate to install. And there you have it. Just copy the npm install command. Open our terminal and we're going to run this command. I'll be back once Prettier is installed. Okay, now Prettier is installed on our system and the last thing that we are going to do in order to make Prettier work is just generate its configuration file just in case we want to tweak a few things here and there later during the course. Just copy this code which just generates an empty object in .prettierrc.json file and run this in our terminal. And there we see it, we have prettierrc.json file and it has got that empty object in it. With all that done, we are just going to create one npm script so that we are able to run parcel and parcel is able to compile all our TypeScript files and generate the final JavaScript file for us. And this is going to help us during development because parcel will fire a web server for us as well and it will watch our files for changes. So the moment we make any change to our TypeScript file, parcel is going to recompile the file and render the same in the browser. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new npm script here which fires certain parcel commands and these parcel commands will watch our TypeScript files for any changes and will compile the TypeScript into JavaScript and hot reload our browser as well so that we are easily able to continue with the development and compile our TypeScript files into JavaScript files on the fly. Let's quickly open our terminal and see what all commands are available in Parcel for us to do that. Let me make some space here. So if you see, Parcel has a serve command which starts the development server for us and it also has the watch command which starts the bundler in the watch mode. So this particular command will watch all our files for any changes and will keep compiling simultaneously whenever we make a change. In order to start the development server as well as watch our files, we would have to run two parcel commands instead of one. And we can easily do that in NPM. So let's get started. I'm going to create a new command here and call that start. Now in the start command, I'm going to pass in two parcel commands. So the first parcel command is going to be parcel serve, which is the default parcel command. And the second one is going to be parcel watch as we just saw in the terminal. So let's start with the parcel command first. Now this particular command over here is going to start the parcel server using our index.html file and we need to pass another command so that parcel watches our files as well. In order to do that, we have to put this command in brackets, use an AND symbol and then pass the second parcel command that we want to run simultaneously. Let me convert this to npx as well. Now let's just quickly understand what we are doing here. We are first passing in an npx parcel with index.html. This runs our development server. And then we are using npx parcel with index.html with the watch command. And this watch command keeps watching our TypeScript files for any changes. And the moment there is a change, it compiles them into JavaScript files and hot reloads our web server for us. Another thing that you want to do here is that you want to remove this main property from here because parcel doesn't play well with this main property and it keeps looking for index.js files. So just that parcel doesn't throw any error, we have to remove this main property from this particular object. Now let's quickly go to our terminal and see if the start command is running successfully or not. Our TypeScript is compiling successfully. Let's just quickly open this URL in our browser and see how it looks like. We are loading our HTML successfully here. Now just so that we are able to easily view our console and the result of our TypeScript files, now I'm going to right click here and click on inspect to open the Google developer tools. Now I'm going to align the developer tools along with my IDE. So let me just quickly do that. 
Here's my IDE. And I'm going to align them side by side. Over here in my developer tools, I'm going to open console. So we have our console. Our TypeScript is compiling successfully. Now to test if everything is working perfectly, I'm going to open my index.ts file. And in, in this index.ts file, I'm going to change this test to hello world. Now you see the moment I do that, our console log message also changes. So everything is working perfectly now. So our setup is ready and now we can move on to the next video where we can start understanding different types in TypeScript. I hope this one was clear. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.